Good morning, guys. Welcome to a new video. Can I get a little applause for the long week in my life video? If you haven't watched it, please check it out because I spent all last night editing that because it was so long. Today I am vlogging, obviously, and I am going to a work event. It has been forever since I have done an early event like this and helping set up the tent. This is not my official job anymore, but um, before the replacement person comes in, I'm I'm going to like obviously help out and film stuff so I have that today it's gonna be fun hopefully maybe I'll include some b-roll I get from the event from my other camera into this video for like a quick little two second montage because there's gonna be a lot of dogs and stuff and pets so that'll be fun this is what I'm wearing I'm just wearing my black leggings and my black jacket I just think it looks good obviously I'll unzipper it but it has my like logo and stuff it has my logo and stuff like on the side so I just just kind of want to cover it up a lot of people from my work come to this like not a lot but like co-workers do not go to any other event this is probably the only one that they go to if they go to one so i might see some people which is gonna be fun and then what else oh my gosh so this morning my alarm goes off at like 6 30 and i'm normally used to getting up early kind of now it's still like really hard but i turn over i'm like why is that going off on a saturday and i'm like okay i can go back to sleep and then i'm like oh my gosh no i have an event so that's why i like hopped up and got ready and now we're here on to whatever i film next Okay, so got my bites. They actually threw in an extra one because they made too many. I have one extra bite here, which is kind of funny. Um, but here they are. I guess they come in these like individual like packets. I don't know, you can see the other one. Um, and then I got my sweet cream cold brew. I think they put a little too much sweet cream in this. It's a little creamy, but it's fine. I can still taste like the coffee and stuff, so. It's not that big of a deal. Okay, so I'm done with the event, at least like working it. So now I'm gonna go home. I had my Starbucks. Wasn't that impressed with the drink, but I got an extra egg bite, so it's okay. I'm gonna go home now and record my review on the Oloplex products I tried out. I just wanna get that video filmed today because tomorrow I just like wanna edit. Valerie and I are also going to be going to Disney tomorrow, so that'll be like its own vlog and stuff. I don't know how good this vlog's gonna be. Hopefully like something fun happens or I'll just like show you guys Valerie cooking cause you guys like seeing that and she's making steaks tonight. Um, it's always like our Saturday thing because Fresh Market always has like the meat on sale, I think. And it's like good quality and everything. So that is the game plan. Guys, I am so, so tired. I don't know why <laughs> I feel like my stamina like for walking a lot and just being on my feet and being surrounded by like a bunch of people has like gone down so much because I am so tired like I'm ready to like just take a nap like when I was eating my Starbucks I was just ready to curl up and go to sleep because I am so tired. I mean, I did get up kind of early, but not as early as I normally get up, but I feel like on weekends, I'm just like, I'm just used to sleeping in and like kind of just using this time as reset, but it wasn't because it was kind of just like a work day, but like in a different, in a different 
area. You know what I mean? Okay guys, quick little update. I think I'm gonna stop at a Target because I'm looking for this keychain that I saw on TikTok. I don't know, I just, I have the time. So I wanna also kind of do it for the vlog because I think it'll be kind of entertaining if I can find this thing. So apparently super targets that have Starbucks in them sell these like miniature keychains. And I kind of want to see if I can find it. Again, I'm not going to be paying like $20 for like a keychain like on eBay, but I think it's kind of fun like kind of like a scavenger hunt if I can like find it so I'll stop in today and see if um any are there it's like kind of just on my way home so it's not out of my way I just think it'll be kind of fun and I haven't been to Target in a long long time like I don't really go to Target for anything we don't go there to shop okay guys almost feel like this is a good sign because I got such a close parking spot right next to the front of the store so hoping fingers crossed that they might have it because it would be kind of cool if they did okay so i don't think they have it so again i don't think they have them because i'm looking this is kind of like a smaller location i think but it was kind of fun to like stop and see Okay, so I just got done filming a couple videos. I just wanted to pre-film because number one, I have makeup on and number two, it's always a little bit of a process getting that thing out and I already had it out for today's event. So I was like, might as well just bust through a couple videos. So I did a Lululemon collection video and then I also did a review on these. Oh, I just dropped it. I did a review on Olaplex's purple shampoo and hair mask. Again, those are some fun videos. I love doing reviews and just like sharing my honest opinion about products. Even if I like the product, I still have things that I don't like about the product. So I share that. I've already kind of shared it with you guys, but you know, I'm going to kind of put away all of this stuff. And then I have some stuff over there. So I'm gonna do that. I don't know what I'm gonna do the rest of the day. I should edit, but I just really don't feel like it because my head kind of hurts and I'm just tired, like I mentioned. So I'm probably not gonna do that. I'll probably just get up tomorrow and bust through these two videos, at least two videos. So this one probably and one that I just filmed, one of the ones I just filmed. That's gonna be fun. holidays, <clears throat> mushrooms, onions, and chocolate chip cookies. Yes, we Doesn't have that this sound tasty? every Saturday pretty much because of the deal. Sherry started. got off work. She's over there. Checking out the Olympic schedule. She is all about the Olympics. I am chilling out here on the couch because I'm just really tired from today. I swear all the dogs, like people were like, oh, my dog's like overwhelmed and stuff. Cause like normally dogs don't go out and have that many, have that much like interaction. And I'm like, I'm overwhelmed just being here too. So I don't blame the dogs. Just thought I would update you guys. Get a little clip in here. Finally, the weather is like really nice out, but apparently we're getting another cold front. Valerie, look at how pretty. Valerie was saying how pretty the food is and she is not wrong. And if you come over here, you can see more prettiness. Look at that. Beautiful food. Yep. Sherry, <sighs> anything happening in your world you wanna share with the vlog? Um, not really, not really. I'm just relaxing after work. Mm -hmm. Getting Same. Getting to have food, that beautiful food that Valerie's talking about. Food, beautiful food. It's always a musical here, <laughs> always. Oh, look at how pretty this meal is. Don't mind Sherry's heart medication over there. <laughs> but no, guys, look at how pretty these mushrooms are. Giants. Okay guys, it is much later after dinner. My parents are watching the Olympics. Leave a comment down below telling me if you guys are watching the Olympics. Um, 
I'm not big into the Olympics except sometimes I watch the ice skaters and gymnastics because like I just find those sports entertaining. Right now I am just going to take off my makeup and shower. I just want to shower because I was like kind of sweaty today at the event so that's what we're gonna do. My head has been hurting since like two o'clock it just hasn't gone away i took some tylenol but like it just still hurts i think it's because it's at that time of the month it's so funny like the past three years pause in the park time i've always gotten my lady friend and i swear it's just like clockwork so every year when they set the date for pause in the park i know she's a coming so i don't know i'm gonna time lapse this because i don't have much to say and just again like when the head hurts it's just, I feel like weak and I don't know. So enjoy the little mini time lapse. Okay, so before we get into like my Bumble stories and stuff, I just want to share that you are loved. And if you don't have a significant other, um, it's okay. Even though we do get down on ourselves a little bit. And like, yeah, you're going to feel like sad if you don't have someone. I'm not gonna like sugarcoat it. I have a lot of like bitterness sometimes and like anger, but I take that out in cycle bar. So like, I'm okay. I'm surviving and I'm living my best life. But I heard this piece of advice from Kendall from It's Our Life and whether you like them or not, like I like them for like their cheer vlogs and like, I don't know, just to have on in the background. I like their cheer stuff and like they live in Florida. So, uh, but she said this like piece of, it wasn't like advice. It was just like words of wisdom, I guess. I don't know, but I just want to share it on my channel in case one of you guys needs to hear it. And that is, it is so much better to be single than with the wrong person. And I really do believe that, you know, sometimes things just like aren't meant to work out and you're different people and that's okay. So whether you're single or in a relationship, I truly believe that it is so much better to be single than with the wrong person. So just wanted to throw that in here and just know that. Be happy that you are surviving and thriving on your own and you do have a good support system, whether it's with your friends, um, your parents, your teachers, or coworkers, you know? So yeah, okay, on with the video. I didn't realize that Valentine's Day was pretty much yesterday. And I always touch on the fact of relationships kind of on my channel, especially during this time. It was probably over three years ago that I made this like video and I was like, oh, I'm 20 and I've never had a, like a serious relationship. And like literally when that video dropped, like my previous relationship came into my life and everything. So I thought that was like really funny. Watch that happen with this video, which is probably highly unlikely. Nothing's really happening. Um, but I did want to share like a couple of my Bumble stories. I've only been on two Bumble dates. And the reason why I chose Bumble was because I've never really like done online. And it was funny too, because my mom made me like create a match.com account. And I don't know if it's still out there. I think I deleted it. I don't know. But I just thought it was so funny. And um, I'm like, I don't know if I want to do that. Maybe, hey, maybe I'll just join again and like see. I don't know. But um, I went on two Bumble dates and they were actually like really good. I am always scared to like online date because I'm going to be honest, like I don't want to end up on an episode of 2020, you know, or have like Kendall Ray make a video about me. I don't know. It's just like kind of creepy in a sense. And I know that like I've met friends online and everything like through YouTube, Instagram, whatever, but like just the mere fact of meeting someone for the intention of like going on a date. I don't know. It's just like really weird to me before we get into the, like the quick little stories. Cause like nothing crazy happened. Well, for one, something did kind of weird happen, but it wasn't with the guy I went on a date with. It was like after, but Anyway, I made a vlog post, which I will link down below about like some stories. I don't know if I'll ever tell them like on this YouTube channel, but if you want to read that blog post, I will link it down below. Um, I do have a website if I never like came on and announced that, but maybe I'll make a video about it. I don't know. I have a website now. It's kind of like my link tree slash like blogging my thoughts, probably stuff that I will never talk about on YouTube just cause like I don't, 
I don't know, making a video about it is not, it's not that important, but like I wanted to get it out there. So if you want to check that out, there are like two story times, story times, I don't know, experiences that I wanted to share, but just not for YouTube, I guess. I don't know, but check it out if you want to. Um, I get it if you're not a reader because I have always hated reading, but I read some stuff. I just wanted to mention that if you, in case you wanted to read those and they're more in depth and more like personal to me. Moving on to the Bumble date stories. So my first Bumble date was really casual and um, we went to a coffee shop. We started talking on the app, obviously. We never exchanged numbers, which I'm cool with because like, I do not need that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I have never met this person. So he lives like an hour away and I was like, oh, like, where do you wanna meet up? We can meet halfway. And um, he was like, uh, let's meet like Orlando. I'm like, okay. So we plan a date, we set a date and like we set a time, I think. And um, it was a Saturday, obviously. And we meet up in downtown Orlando. But guys, he gave me the wrong address. So I was like driving and I'm like, okay, almost there. I'm like five minutes out. And he was like, um, okay. And he said, oh, here's the address. And I was like, Oh, but you already gave me the address. I'm like driving to this address in like Winter Park, which Winter Park is not close to me, guys. Like it's like 40 minutes away without tolls, but with tolls, it's like 30 minutes depending on traffic. But still, like it's not right next door, you know? So he was like, Oh, this is actually the address. And I'm like, But you sent me this. And I like screenshotted what he had sent me when we like planned the date. And I was like, um, and I'm almost at that location. So like, I might be late because I'm not going to that address. So he was like, oh, that's fine. Like traffic was really heavy on, um, his route because again, he was like driving pretty far. And I was like, I can't believe this guy is like driving this far, but Hey, whatever. He seems like nice or whatever. And, um, I get to the parking garage Instead of Winter Park, the address was actually in downtown Orlando. And you guys know how I hate downtown Orlando. I work there, but like parking's not an issue because like at where I work, we have a parking lot. Like I don't have to stress about that. Um, and it has a physical address. It's not like in one of those suites where you're like, okay, this is the building, but like where in the heck are we located here? So I finally get parked. I'm like, okay, I think I'm at the place now. So he comes out of the little coffee shop. The coffee shop was actually really good and really cute. I would definitely go back there. Highly recommend. So he walks out and he's like, hey, Alex. And I'm like, hey. And he was like really nice. And then we go in. Like before we order, he was like, oh, it was kind of like awkward. I don't know. I mean, he said he had been on a few dates before, like through online or whatever. And he was like, oh, do you want me to pay for you? And I was like, um, no, it's okay. Like I just met this guy. He is like a complete stranger. I'm not going to make someone who's like a complete stranger, like pay for me. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I just makes me feel like weird and kind of uncomfortable. We hadn't even like met. I don't know. This is like the first encounter, you know? So I feel kind of bad making someone pay and it was not like even a meal. So it was just like coffee. So I'm like, no, it's okay. Like I'll just pay like, uh, you're good. We sit, we talk. Um, and then we walk around downtown a little bit. It was cool. I guess there was like an art thing going on. And then he was like, Oh, I got to check my car or whatever. I don't know. We, we leave because he parked in a parking lot that had like a restricted time to park and that was good. But, um, he did offer to like walk around and stuff. I don't know. Just like not a lot of common interests, which is fine. Then I go back to my car and you know, in parking garages, I just took the stairs because that's what I remember. Like I make mental notes like, okay, you came out of this stairwell. This is where your car is pretty much. I walk up and there's this guy like just chilling out in the stairwell. I don't know what the heck he was doing. I hope it wasn't drugs, but like he was just like there. And I was like, it like shocked me. Cause like, I wasn't expecting someone to be chilling in the stairwell. And I was like, oh, I was just kind of shocked. And he was just like looking at me and I'm like, you know what? This guy can like completely murder me, but like, let's hope that he's not going to. I don't know if I had my pepper spray or not, but he was just like, oh, you can go ahead. Like he stood up cause he was like kind of squatting down. I don't know. It's just kind of weird. And I was like, okay, thanks. And he was like, have a good day. And I'm like, you too. That was like really uncomfortable. Um, whenever I go downtown, 
I always have someone like walk me back to my car, but like I wasn't gonna make the Bumble date like walk me back to my car because I don't know, like he was parked like in a completely different parking area. He was like more in a lot and I was in a garage. So I'm like, okay, that makes me feel like really uncomfortable, but like luckily nothing happens. I'm here today to tell the story, but guys just keep in mind, like always be careful, always like check your surroundings. I was completely not expecting that to happen. Moving on to my second Bumble date. Um, I went and met up with this guy in downtown Winter Park and it was like really fun. It was, I think around like Halloween actually, Actually, and he seems like a nice guy so I was like might as well like have lunch and meet up with him he was really like new to Orlando and stuff and like took a job obviously in Orlando so he just like wanted to meet people and stuff and especially with quarantine he had like been working at home so he had like he didn't really know anyone in Orlando so we went and what got me on his like profile or whatever he mentioned something about fries and I was like oh yeah like we already have like that as a common interest yeah other than that like he was nice and like nothing crazy happened um he did pay for my meal but like I didn't feel bad because like it was an actual meal and like it was more of a date it was like more of a, like a day date than like you know just meeting up for coffee so um we talk and he's like a nice guy like I think I would be friends with him but like our common interests and stuff like just didn't really match up so um he was again nice and we walked around um we got starbucks after our meal i hope they're both doing well i just thought i would share this because i don't know valentine's day was yesterday and yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this video um give it a thumbs up if you did don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys in my next video bye